no. I forgot. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the third KMS Pitch Adventures journey of this year. My name is Mariana and I'm from Brazil. And I'm Iman and I'm from the United States. We will be having a KUNESCO journey with you guys today. How are you guys enjoying the journey so far? Today's episode will be full of interesting things. Oh, that's right. And can we guess where we are? We are at a temple. And it's the largest and most important temple in Korea. It's Hainsa Temple. Hainsa Temple. So the term Hain comes from an expression from Buddhist scripture. To be exact, it came from Hain Samme of Avadam Saka Sutra, which means truly enlightened world of Buddha and our naturally undefiled mind. Let me tell you something. I've been pretty out of my mind lately. Would I be able to enlighten myself? I'm joking. <laughs> or am I? Well, anyway, I'm pretty curious to understand why this place is the most important temple in Korea. Well, there's only one way to find out. Shall we head inside? Come with us. Hansa Temple is located in Mount Gaya in Hapcheon, Gyeongsangnam-do province. This Dharma Jewel Temple is one of the three major temples that represent Korea. Hansa Temple was constructed by monks Sunung and Ijeong during the reign of Ejeong of Shilla in the year 802. It is known as one of the temples preserving three jewels of Buddhism. Three jewels of Buddhism are the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, representing Buddha himself, Buddhist doctrine, and a group that practices Buddhist doctrine, respectively. Hengsa Temple is a Dharma Jewel Temple, meaning a temple dedicated to preserving Dharma, the highest and superior teachings of Buddha. Come check this out. It's a beautiful temple in the middle of the mountain. So the temple is in perfect harmony with the surrounding nature. And I think Sansa are the best among all temples. Salsa? What are you talking about? Do they make sauce here? Sansa, not Sarsa. Okay. <laughs> Sansa, Buddhist mountain monasteries in Korea are temples located inside mountains. As you can see, Sansa's boasts a unique style that can only be found in Korean Buddhism. Mm -hmm. Hansa Temple is classified as Sansa, which also preserves UNESCO heritage. Oh, I get it now. And from what I heard, one of these walls is said to protect a famous Buddhist scripture. Is it right? I can't wait to see part of history with my own eyes. Oh, yes, you're right. So this scripture is called Tripitaka Koreana, okay. and it has been stored here for over 500 years. Let's go and find it. Okay. Let's go and check who can find it first. If I find it before you, you gotta buy me dinner. Challenge accepted. Okay, okay. This is a pretty famous heritage, right? It's gotta be up there. It's gotta be up there. You know what? It needs to be in the highest building of the temple. Here. Please don't tell me you're gonna make me come up these steps. Yeah. I think you should come down here. I gotta go there. Yes. Because I found it. <laughs> no, you didn't. Are you serious? I did. <laughs> Just come. It's, it's worth, worth it. it. I promise Are you. you sure? <laughs> Look <gasps> at this. No way. Look at this. Tripitaka Koreana, printing wood blocks of the Tripitaka Koreana and miscellaneous Buddhist scriptures, is a UNESCO memory of the world, which is believed to be the oldest and most complete Buddhist scriptures that compiled existing Buddhist documents, rules, and agreements. And the contents are engraved on more than 80,000 wood blocks created between 1236 and 1251. Iman, how can these wood blocks be well preserved until the 21st century? That's crazy because think about it. 
It is said that an innovative preservation technology ahead of its time was used to prevent the corrosion of wood blocks. I believe this. Yeah, and the Tripitaka Koreana became widely known to Buddhist scholars across the world thanks to its surprising accuracy and excellent quality. The characters on each block are uniform as if carved by a single hand. Can you imagine how long it would take to read all of these scriptures? Oh my gosh, it would definitely take a couple of years. Oh my gosh, but don't worry. You can stay here as long as you want because okay. these buildings were designed to stand against the test of time, okay? It can circulate air, adjust temperature, and it's resistant against moisture. Changyeon Panjon, the depositories of the Tripitaka Koreana woodblocks, is a UNESCO World Heritage Building. Located on the highest place in the temple, it consists of two longer buildings and two shorter buildings. The current Changyeon Panjon was completed in 1488, 15th century. The two buildings, Sudarajang Depository and Popojon Hall, stand side by side, and a rectangular courtyard with the woodblock depositories is formed in between the two buildings. Sudarajang Depository and the Popojon Hall have two latest windows at the top and bottom of each wall. The frontal window has a small upper window and larger lower window, while the other side has a small lower window and larger upper window. It was designed this way so that dry air can come into the building and spread out before leaving. Changyong Panjon is efficient in air circulation and maintaining a constant temperature. Along with rational and scientific latest windows, more secrets lie within the floor of Changyong Panjon. The earthen floor is laid over layers of red clay, granite soil, lime, charcoal, and salt. It absorbs moisture when the air becomes humid while expelling moisture when the air becomes dry to maintain humidity. Maintaining humidity reduces the deformation of the wood blocks and prevents from roundworms. The shelves that hold the wood blocks are also reasonably and scientifically placed. The shelves form two lines parallel to the wall to the southeast and northwest side. The front side is emptied along the wall for sutra printing. The bottom window on the front of the building is made large enough to allow ventilation and secure enough light for suture printing. Air that flows in through the window flows from front to back and from bottom to the top, keeping the constant temperature and humidity. As such, the scientific design of the Changyong Panjang is the secret to perfectly preserving the Tripitaka Koreana. The technology that preserved Changyong Panjang and the Tripitaka Koreana for centuries surely is amazing. Yes, I agree. So if you want to see the Tripitaka Koreana in person, up close, you need to make a reservation through the website. If not, you can only see the Tripitaka Koreana from outside the building. And guys, make a reservation. You won't regret it. After seeing it up close, let me tell you, it also sparked my curiosity. Iman, do you know how they made the Triptaka Koreana or why they made it? Okay, I don't know how they made it, but I know why. So, during the Koryo dynasty, the Mongols invaded the country. And although they resisted, they were losing the war. And so, people in Koryo believed in Buddhism, okay. and they thought making a Buddhist scripture would help stop the war. The Triptaka Koreana project was planned during the worst national crisis of the Koryo dynasty. It was during the invasion of the Mongols. Choi Wu, who was the military leader of Koryo at the time, suggested the creation of the Buddhist scriptures to soothe people's worries and request for Buddha's benevolence. And it was based on the belief that creating and preserving the Tripitaka Koreana will ensure peace and prosperity that everyone longed for. However, Iman, can we imagine how hard it would have been to collect countless pieces into wood blocks during the war? It was not an easy task. I can only imagine. The project mobilized countless people who longed for the war to end by pleading for Buddha's benevolence, regardless of social status, from monks to carpenters, scribes, and sculptors. Although the war continued despite the people's aspiration, their efforts were not in vain. It is because it led to the creation of spiritual and technological heritage of all mankind. So, there were more difficulties other than the creation of the Tripitaka Koreana and Changyong Panjang. What do you mean? So, in the past, it even survived a bombing. Wow. And although it was on the verge of being lost, we were able to avoid this tragedy thanks to one man. Do you know who it is? <laughs> no. Tell me more. I love to hear the deeds of heroes. Okay, so it is Colonel Kim Yong hwan And during the Korean War, the South Korean and UN joint forces bombed the region to suppress the hidden enemy. And Colonel Kim was instructed to destroy Hansa Temple, but he refused to do so. What? Going against like superior's orders? That's some courage right there. Mm -hmm. 
What was he thinking? So during an interview, he said he couldn't destroy the country's cultural heritage or treasures to kill just a few communist guerrilla units. Wow, so his decision protected the treasure of the whole country and the world. So Colonel King was the one person responsible to protect, to prevent the destruction of the Buddhist teachings to whole humanity. Wow, so Jang Kyung Panjan and the Tripitaka Koreana survived bombings, wars, and natural disasters to this date. Both heritages are well preserved as UNESCO cultural heritages, keeping priceless cultural and historical value. So, traveling back in time was such a great experience. What do you guys think of the resistance of the Tripitaka Koreana and Changyong Panjon? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Wait, 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 wait so fast. We still have time. Oh, it's almost time to say goodbye. So, I think we should go because someone needs to buy me dinner. <laughs> I think she's hearing things because you have a favorite girlfriend. So, um, see you all again next time and we'll be back with more KUNESCO adventures. Bye! Bye.